You could be a Red Hat engineer. You could be a Linux support engineer, a kernel developer, a Linux sysadmin, a Linux system engineer, a Linux, a, a, a Linux system architect. The list goes on. I showed you the stuff on the Red Hat side. Imagine if you, like I say, you main you maintain it and you average in 150 to 250,000 for 10 years, what that salary looks like for 10 years. Again, I like to show the numbers. I don't like to talk in like, well, what it could be. Let's talk numbers. 150,000, like we said, um, times 10. We know that's 1.5 in 10 years. That's 1.5. And let's say that's 250,000 that you maintain. That's your salary for the next 10 years. I'm not saying that you not going to get a raise and then I'm just trying to work with averages here. So that's 1.5 million to 2.5 million. All right, so now let's go add this 1.5 million up, right? Let's add that in. All right, now let's divide that by two. On average, you would be, you would have 2 million. And if we cut that in half, right? If I cut it, because I'm doing gross salary, if we divide that in half, you would be a millionaire. That's how I'm coming up with the numbers. I'm taking the range of what your potential is for 10 years, right? And saying, add that up over time. I'm not including bonuses. I'm not including stocks. I'm not including buying land. I'm just saying, just start with the RACSA. Start with the RACSA and work your way up, right? Work your way up, right? Work your way up. Work your way up to that that architect, work your way up to that systems engineer, work your way up to that system architect, work your way up to that enterprise architect, 